Dear viewers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Atullah with another video of our steel structure design. So already we have completed our um, nine lecture. This is our um, tenth lecture, and in this lecture I will show that how we will design our beam and column. I mean our steel beam and column section. Okay. So we have completed everything about our steel structure design, how to draw a stair or everything. So I'll just uh, request you if you're new here then you can watch our previous video that are already given in description I mean the video link are given in description and also if you didn't subscribe to our channel then subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first and uh, your subscription support us and inspire us for the next work so first of all I'll open our previous model so this is our previous model you know that if I go in 3 mode just see here this is your previous model right and I have high I, I have hidden our uh, floor and here floor and wall apply so see here the floor and wall and uh, in other side they have a stair here just see here here is your stair okay so here is our stair so if we go in view show render view if I go in render view so just see here this is your um data for our structure right this is uh, the data for our structure okay and this is steel structure you can see that the section here the wall of section here available and it's all section are representing steel structure so now we'll design that okay we'll find out our required section for our structure for that I'll close that now I'll just uh, stop extrude mode so now it's here now I'll go here design okay first of all we'll design our composite uh, composite beam design okay we'll go for our composite beam design as we have composite beam that's why we'll go for composite beam design and before that uh, view our uh, device preferences so it's up to you that um, it will change anything or not here so here design code you can select any design code for that okay but I will use AISC American Institute of Steel Construction so I'll use that code here and uh, here no need to change anything and in if you need to change anything you can change that they have many value actually available okay so actually uh, I prefer the design preferences data okay so simply click okay after that I'll go here design then composite beam design right then I'll just go here uh, select design combination so we'll see select design combination so this is our design combination for composite beam and uh, this is for a strength and this is for deflection okay so this is for actually composite so simply click okay okay because uh, we are they have little load combination cost our composite beam will not carry any wind load earthquake or anything just okay so uh, when it's done I'll just click here see under from shape so when it's done now I'll again go ahead design then uh, composite beam design then select click here start design or check so simply I'll click here and it's uh, starting all design check okay and after that we'll see that it's okay or not so uh, if come here if I see for our SP3 apply okay so see here they have no red mark they have no red mark or they have no failed section okay uh, for the middle it's showing us 3 1 okay 3 1 0 into 21 W section frame and for that section it's showing us another types of section here 3 on 0 into 21 
in that side also and here for that one it is uh, it's uh, giving us very little section and here it's also giving us the more section so here this is our design section now we'll go here design then composite beam design okay now uh, I'll just go here verify analysis versus design section so analysis and design section differ from one on seven composite beam okay do you want to uh, select them so no need to select because uh, our design check have passed okay our design check have passed so it's, we can go for select for that and as it's differ okay, and uh, before that I'll just go design then composite uh, beam design then from here we'll check verify wall member have passed so see here wall composite beam passed the design check okay so when it's done now i'll click ok and again i'll go for run analysis okay okay i'll go for run analysis so it's done and again here they have another option composite beam design so i'll click here and i'll click start design check again we'll check our design section it will take some time actually okay so see here now it's okay now we'll go here composite then verify design versus analysis versus design section so now also we have analysis and design section differ from 42 composite beam okay actually um, what was our analysis section right what was our analysis section now our analysis section and design section are different they have 42 so I'll select yes and uh, now again I'll go for analysis we will analysis okay um, till that time when our design check is okay our wall analysis and as uh, here composite then a start I'll go in 3d so that we can see it and here I'll just floor and wall I'll hide that okay okay and I'll just go here composite then yes start design check uh, here that two one okay so I'll just again click here for composite yes start design or check so here it's showing us only two okay so I think uh, our other wall work have done right so um, now again we'll go for sorry I'll uncheck here click ok now we'll again go for analysis okay actually we'll do it till it's perfect so, right so when it's done now we'll go here design from here composite beam design I'll click here start maybe this time it will it will be okay I hope so so here I'll just go design then composite then check verify so now see here wall composite beam now they have no dispense section so okay and we'll go design then here the uh, composite beam section and here I'll go verify all member have passed so all composite beam passed and design check is okay so that's it and uh, in this way we can uh, verify our all design check and now I'll click OK right and I'll go design this is the most important part now if I see you something just right click here just see here this section are not a freedom section this is a composite section we have selected now we'll go simply we'll go for design then 
composite beam design then we'll come here make auto select section null they have a option okay make auto select section null so here confirm turning of auto select section assignment and accepting current design section for the selected composite beam okay so simply click okay so it's done right we have uh, done our work now our um, that section will not change anymore when we'll go for analysis okay so when it's done after that we have to go for our steel beam and column design i mean our primary beam and column design right so for that uh as our video are being lengthy so in our next lecture i'll show you about that how we'll finally design our main beam and column so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and if you think that that is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first